Hello, I'm Dr. Randall Seacrest, your host for eOrthopod TV. Today I have as my guest Brent Dodge. Mr. Dodge is a master's in physical therapy. He did his training at the University of Puget Sound. He also has several other certifications, including a board certification in orthopedic clinical therapy. He is also a certified manual physical therapist. Good afternoon, Brent. Thanks for having me. Brent, today what I would like to talk about is, is this new project that, that you've got in the works called Back Care 101. Um, I've heard a little bit about it, so tell me what this new project is. Back Care 101 is really a synthesis of my past 18 years as a physical therapist working with lots of people with back pain and just constantly trying to present to them a systematic way of learning about what's going on in their back, what's going on in their body, and what they can do to help themselves. Tell me a little bit about the epidemic of low back pain in the United States today. Well, it's absolutely an epidemic. We just, as practitioners, we haven't done a great job taking care of back pain. And I think part of that is, is and as we're learning, the science behind why people continually have recurring problems. I think what ends up happening, A, somebody has an episode of back pain, they live with it. B, they get a second one, they want something done about it, and if we don't lead them down a, a proper pathway, that pain, that back pain can actually become chronic and disabling. But having the right treatments early on, the right educational piece early on, bolsters people's awareness of what to do and how to get better and hopefully stay better. Now tell me a little bit about Back Care 101. Um, what's the, this website designed to do? This site is designed to really take a person who has back pain and is wondering what to do about it, to take them through the introductory steps to really funnel them into the right curricula and then also the right exercises. So it's really their, their information helps us to take them down a pathway of milestones that helps them get from start to finish in terms of A, how to take care of my back, and B, what can I do with it and help my back for the long term. The Back Care 101 program is a great program for people that have maybe a first or second episode of back pain. And it's the back pain that we're talking about is simple or nonspecific. It doesn't involve big nerve problems or other uh, precarious symptoms. Now, in Back Care 101, we have questionnaires that help to identify those things, but people need to realize this is not a program for everyone. Uh, it's a program that should be potentially used in conjunction with a visit to a physician or physical therapist if there are questions about red flags. How long should it take a typical patient to complete Back Care 101? I think people can work through the fact that it's designed in eight, really, really eight sessions. Uh, for the basic approach, phase one approach, if you will. And really, if they could do two sessions a week, that would help them move through the pathway in four weeks. I think some people could actually go through that maybe in half that time, particularly if their symptoms allow. But some of those later sessions, they're going to be doing more involved in higher level exercise. And it may be, particularly if they've got more symptoms early on, they're going to need that four weeks to completely work through the program. How do you think your typical low back pain patient will benefit from BackCare101.com? I'm excited about being able to present today's information in easy read format with big pictures that help people really understand and see what's going on in their back to know, hey, this is why my back's not working, this is what I can do to help it, and, and really getting it from a physical therapist who's passionate about helping people with back pain and, and someone who's taken the time to pull together, really synthesize today's science and put it into a way that people can understand and put into practice quickly to get results. Um, what would be your advice to a physical therapist who is considering using Back Care 101 for their own practice? I would want physical therapists to know that this is not a cookbook approach to helping people with back pain. It is an adjunctive educational piece that can supplement what a physical therapist is doing in the clinic, giving the physical therapist even more time to evaluate and apply very highly specialized hands-on treatments, neuromuscular retraining, specific you know, types of, of self-care ideas. Back Care 101 supports that and it really doesn't add to the physical therapist load. What would be your advice to a physician who is considering referring a patient to backcare101.com? 
As a physical therapist, I'm a firm believer that if, if somebody can get into physical therapy early on after an onset of back pain, physical therapists have tools that can help people early on with their manual techniques, modalities that we use to help calm pain so they start feeling better. But I think um, sometimes we neglect to give them the educational piece because we're busy in the clinic or the phone rings and we need some way to give them a consistent pathway and I think that's what Back Care 101 can do. What do you hope patients get out of Back Care 101? I hope patients really enjoy working through Back Care 101. The fact that they can get easy to learn concepts, things they can remember and take with them through the day to protect their back so that they have less pain, they move better, and they really can get back to their, their sport, their hobby, their job, and feel better. Pain.